Hey everyone, Michelle, I'm here um, in New York and I'm just practicing what we call fizzing, which is um, ferrotama relief. And what that does is it removes the extra air that's in the gas bladder. Um, when it fills up and you bring the small mouth out of the water, it, it pushes up against the heart. So by doing this, immediately it you can actually physically see uh, the, the air bubbles in the gas being released. So it really helps maintain the, the livelihood of the fish. Um, and so I'm gonna show you today. You want to go four down from the top fins. Um, you make a diagonal line and then perpendicular to the anal fin, which that point there is, uh, and there's a really cool diagram. It makes it very easy. This is my first time doing this, but, um, Yeah, so imaginary line at the fourth dorsal spine. So you count over four, down to the approximate point of insertion, which is there, right at the top of the pectoral fin. And you're gonna go in with the needle in here and you wanna kinda go down. You'll see you can kinda push it that way, but, um, but you really have to dart it, okay? Don't be afraid to put pressure on. I would lay them on the side. Uh, I mean, we know that they can be pretty feisty. So if I can do this this first time, I think if I can do this this first time, anyone can probably do it. Um, hopefully it bring this guy back to get him. Very feisty in there. So you just want to fizz them until they're neutrally buoyant. You don't want to keep it in there. And it's usually when it's a good amount of water depth wise that you're pulling them out of. So here's the fish. So we're going to count one, two, three, four. And we're going to go down from there to that pectoral fin. And right there is that imaginary line. So this is the area that I'm going to be speaking. I'm going to lay him sideways. Okay. And, and Keep it in such a way that if he jumps, you're not gonna stick yourself. One, two, one, two, three, four, across and sometimes it's difficult to get. Get a... There we go. So it is in. So I'm going to put him in the water and remove this and actually lift up. So I'm going to record this so you can see here. The minute I lift up, There you go. Check that out. There you go. You have to pull up on it sometimes, but you see the bubbles being released. So,
go. So he seems pretty usually buoyant, and that's my first time doing that, so probably didn't have the best angle and didn't dart it as well, I was a little nervous, but um, it's okay, don't be fearful of doing it, they can handle it, uh, it's better than not doing it, because the chances of their survival is reduced significantly if they've got that pressure, they, their bodies just can't handle that. So. I would recommend getting one of the kits and the instructions like I got with an easy photo or have somebody just show you one time um, and then you, know, you can just do it from there. So once they're neutrally buoyant, they're good to go. And you can check on them, they may need more, um, but again, you don't want to leave it in there. But if they start to belly up, then yeah, you want to check it again. First time. Go out and give it a try. Barrow trauma relief for smallmouth fishing. Go Bell! <laughs> That's my tournament partner. She's up at the front of my boat. And she's from New York. 